Germany has assumed a seat for two years on the United Nations Security Council. What are your plans? First of all, we will take an active role in managing the crises and conflicts being handled by the Security Council. They include Syria, Yemen, Ukraine and now Venezuela. This is an important task and it's clear that people have expectations of us. We're expected to take responsibility and that's something we want to do. Apart from that, there are important topics of our own that we would like to put to the Security Council. Climate and security is one of those issues that is not getting enough attention. And the connection between climate change and security issues is becoming increasingly important. We want to put the role and experience of women in war higher on the agenda. There is much to do. The United Nations is doing a lot already, but we have to do even more because women are often the first to suffer in conflict and women often have special skills that can help settle these conflicts later on. Humanitarian law and humanitarian aid is also important to us. Many die trying to help others. We have to change that and change the legal framework. The biggest issue, though, is disarmament. This is also an issue that has to be discussed with the global community. As you can see, we have many initiatives and talking points that are important to us and which the Security Council will have to consider. The United States and Russia are at odds over many issues at the moment. It is said that the Security Council's ability to act is therefore limited. You've just met the foreign ministers of both countries. What role can Germany play? We don't want to pretend to be more important than we really are, but I have spoken with Foreign Minister Lavrov in Moscow as well as with Secretary of State Pompeo in Washington. There are issues that are not only of interest to the US and Russia, such as the future of the INF Treaty. Wherever we can help to create an understanding between them, we are happy to do so. But it's not just about Russia and the US. China also has a part to play in the issue of disarmament, and we will be very active over the coming weeks and months in this regard. Radical change is happening in Venezuela. Germany and the EU haven't recognized the new self-proclaimed acting president. Can Germany afford to be neutral? We are not neutral. We are on Juan Guaido's side because it's difficult for us to recognize the legitimacy of Maduro's re-election. It's obvious that there were so many irregularities in the election that we can only speak to a limited degree of a democratic election. That's why we are calling for fresh elections, for the National Assembly to assume responsibility and for constitutional law to be restored in Venezuela. We have made that known together with our European partners. That's going to be our policy over the coming days, and I expect that this will be made very clear. We are not neutral. We support what Goido is doing. Thank you for the interview. You're welcome.